Yeah, welcome. Um, you must be wondering what took us so long after the news. Well, I have hot gist for you. You know, there's the kind of program you have. You have to take time to make sure that all the I's are dotted and the T's crossed. I told you that um, as, as a people, as cross variants, we are wonderfully created by God. And all over the world, a lot of people want to identify with us, learn from our culture, learn our tradition and all that. But some of us still take these things for granted. Well, I have a wonderful guy here who is going to tell you so much. And did I call a chief a guy? I apologize. Join me as I welcome Chief Ivor Miller. Good morning. Thank you very much. Yes, uh, Chief Miller, uh, Chief Dr. Ivor Miller is um, of the Department of African Studies Center, Boston University. He's also here at the University of Calabar Department of History and International Relations. And of course, he's uh, what they will call a full bright scholar. He's, he's sent here by the US government on scholarship to do uh, some findings on our revered uh, Ikbe. Do I call it a cult or a society? Society. Huh? It's a society. Okay, the Ikbe Society. Um, Chief, I'd like to use that title. You're welcome. Where did you get your chief tenancy title from? Let's start there. Efe Ekpe, Heyuema, I call it on go. That was in 2004 when I came, the first time I came to Calabar. You see, I have been living in Cuba for many years, uh, studying the diaspora traditions there. The African traditions in Cuba are so strong as they are in many other regions in the Caribbean. But Cuba is a very special place because it's the only place in the Americas Ekbe was recreated during the colonial period, and it's still there. And this connection has never really been explored by scholars, so I decided to come to Calabar in 2004 to show people here about their own heritage in Cuba. And people were so excited, uh, they immediately uh, invited me to join their society in order to support my research. So I've been moving all around this area and even into uh, southwest Cameroon, into Manfe, Icom, uh, Akpabuyo, Okoyon, Kampa, Biase, Ugep, where I just received this hat. I was wondering, were you also made a chief there? No, it's just a way of welcoming me um, because they're very happy to that their ECPE is recognized. And we're trying to um, work with all the people here to document the history and their contribution to world civilization. Ekpe was recreated in colonial Cuba in the 1830s to defend the people who were taken from this area. And my book, which just came out, is uh -huh. called Voice of a Leopard. Look at this one. Mm -hmm. The voice of the airplane. That's 15 years of work in Cuba and Nigeria mm -hmm. documenting. Because the first lodge in, in Cuba was called Obutong. Soon after that, a lodge was called Ekore Tonko. So you have Ekore Tonko They have there. a foot Ebonda is there. They have a foot Ekondo. They have Ibibio. They have Uruan. And they have so many other places like that. The, the lodges m uh, are giving memory to the places where people came from. And so I think it's very important that people here know about that, that their legacy is now international. And uh, it's, uh, it was a very important part of the Cuban struggle for independence. Ekpe were the warriors who were fighting the colonists. Okay, and so that's a very important legacy for people here to know about. So um, back at uh, Cuba, mm -hmm. like at the Efori Bundu and all that, do they speak Efik language there? They, they, speak, speak uh, they speak a language. You see, the Ekpe there is called Abakwa. We think okay. it's after the Abakpa, Kwa Jagan people. Okay. And right here I have a book that's 500 pages long. <clears throat> it's called in Spanish, La Lengua Sagrada de los Ñañigos, the sacred language of the Ñañigos. That is the people who were the Ñaña, the part of the Ekpe, Eden. the Ñaña. Yes. So, uh, this culture has been so well documented in Cuba, and people here need to know about that. I'm trying to translate this book right now into English. 500 pages of language from this area, about 30% of it is Efek. It's a mixture of a jagom, balondo, a foot, and we still don't know. We're, we're, we're working with scholars here to decipher. Okay, which is which? But yes, but many terms, um, they will say in Cuba, Awasi Bome. When they, they mean to say Abasi Ibon. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, so they still speak Afik. Mm -hmm. That's they what do. it means. They do. I, you know, when I came here, I didn't even know any Afik, but I would say Tebere to somebody and say, ah, how do you know that? <laughs> I learned that in Cuba. Go, go Take slow. it easy, Take Tebere. It easy. <laughs> so many things like that, uh, Inua for mouth. It's, it's still the Iliampo same. Iliampo for eating. They, they know all these things in Cuba. Oh, that's good to uh -huh. know. So if one goes to Cuba, then you can't be totally lost. No way. No <laughs> way. No way. You feel at home. All right. Now, <laughs> um, what really interested you to take the uh, Igbe as a very serious, um, you know, case well, to Well, it's because the love and the faith that I learned from the Cuban descendants of Cross River instilled in me the, re <coughs> the respect they have for it because it's really the center of their identity. To be an Ekpe member of Cuba is to be a, it's a very privileged thing. Mm. Many people want to join, but they can't. They, they don't have the morals. They don't have uh, the qualities necessary. And so that, re I, I respected that a lot. And when I came here to Nigeria, I saw the same kind of respect among those who hold the tradition. So therefore, it was, uh, it was easy. And I've learned from very important books here. I want to show you a book here called Ekpe Efik by, um, Ekpe by Commissioner Bassi, yes. who wrote the foreword to my own book. This is a wonderful book. It's the first one El ever, Elizabeth, let's have a look at ever this. written by an Ekpe member. And he goes into the esoteric philosophies, the teaching of Ekpe. And so I've learned a lot from this book. And um, another book that just came out too, Ekpe Imperium in Southeastern Nigeria, but by Dr. Nwana. It just came out this year, looking at Ekpe as a, a, the linchpin for the trade and the identity of this region for hundreds of years. So all of these scholarly works are um, very important, and there's still a lot more to be done. So um, after your initial visit to Cross River State, mm -hmm. I'm sure you went back to Cuba to tell them, this oh, yes. is what I have found oh. out. What was their reaction? Oh my god, the Cubans are so happy. Their dream is to come here, uh, and I'm working on that. We've been, ever since 2004, with Governor Duke, who invited me and two other Cubans to come for the International Life Festival.